Douglas Baldensberger, a 2018 WHS graduate, has left behind a legacy in and out of the school doors. Now in the U.S. Marine Corps, the holidays at the Baldensbergers are a little colder than usual. They're pretty different. You know, they're a little more quiet. Douglas is an interesting personality. He keeps things lively and he's always joking around around here. Um, so, you know, we don't get to send him packages right now because he's moving a lot. So if we ask him, what do you want for Christmas? He says, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. I can't have anything. So shopping is kind of odd. Last year, um, he came out of boot camp on January 10th. He graduated from boot camp. So we didn't talk to him the whole time that he was in boot camp. We're not allowed any contact except for handwritten letters. Communicating with someone in the Marines overseas has its complications, but the Baldensburgers make it work. FaceTime. Um, when he's on Wi-Fi, we can speak to him somewhat regularly. Uh, they have their regular work days, just like anyone around here would go to work, and then uh, they have Liberty on the weekends, so he can call and FaceTime. Obstacles would be whether he is low on um, phone battery, he's not close to a charger, so he'll talk to us until his phone dies. Um, Connection is a really big thing because on the boat he doesn't get connection at all so we have to wait till he's docked somewhere. We don't know when that'll be or um, what time he'll be docked. So when he gets there he doesn't know if he'll have um, Wi-Fi or not. Having a supportive family when making the decision to go into the service is important. Thankfully the Baldensburgers were all for it. So Douglas has always wanted to go into the military from the time he was six years old, probably. He was carrying around a Nerf gun, shooting everything in my house with darts. So it wasn't a surprise when he decided to go in. Um, I've always been pretty supportive of it. He comes from a military background, a military family, and it wasn't anything that wasn't expected. Um, I did try to convince him to try the college route and go to school first and get a degree and then move into either either go through an ROTC program or um, go and get a degree and then go to officer candidate school. But he was not going to have that and wanted to enlist right out of high school. This has been Noah Hargett and Alexis Montgomery reporting for WHS-TV. We'd like to extend a special thank you to Doug and all of those in the armed forces. You are appreciated for all you do. It's me. <laughs> Merry Christmas. I uh, just wanted to say hi. Let you guys know that I'll, I don't know, I'll probably be all right. But uh, <laughs> Merry Christmas, <laughs> Merry Christmas. Um, thinking of all you guys. Miss you guys. Love you. Merry Christmas.